you ready for some football. It's the Ravens and the Chargers under the lights on Sunday night. Night begins. The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. This taken in at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Ravens offense set to go to work, and it's Lamar Jackson now in his sixth NFL campaign who will lead the way. And you and I both know that any win is a good win, and that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an Had interception. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. Jackson's fell into the hands of Andrews. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. And now hang on here. Looks like we have an injured player. Yeah, Mark Andrews is in some discomfort. More from L.A. in a moment. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A very solid gain of 27. That was an excellent read right there. Song cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big-time completion. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. Now it's Jackson. And he floats one there incomplete. Gus Edwards the one he was looking for. That'll bring up second down. And despite injuries like these, Charles, with these guys missing, they've been able to keep that pursuit of perfection alive so far. That just shows the depth that they have on the roster and the guys who are serious about being ready when their number is called. Someone goes down, someone jumps in, and they don't skip a beat. I think this team has a bunch of those guys, and some of them will be called on again this week. Jackson to Bateman there for the Baltimore first. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. That's gonna be knocked away and incomplete. So, Charles, you look at this offense, and really on paper, at least, a great situation for them upcoming. They're unbeaten on the year, an open week coming up after this. So, I guess my question, any worry that maybe this is coming at the wrong time? Oh, definitely I would be worried about this game, maybe more than any other on the schedule, because I know my guys are looking ahead to that open week. I've got to keep them focused on the task ahead, make sure they take care of business in this one. Otherwise, you're talking about a double trap. The trap of losing the game and then having the open week and having to stew about it. And Jackson throwing once more. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They only needed one yard on third down. They get 10 instead by going to the air. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down. And this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Here's Jackson, rolling to his right. Dumps it off to Edwards. All that for a two-yard gain, second down. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turned it into a successful play. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Jackson now. Checks this down to Edwards out of the backfield. 
He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Nelson Aguilar with his 14th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Ravens' decision to go for it pays off with six points. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Remember oh, yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. And he will get in to make it 8 nothing. So what do you make of that? You go on the road, you score the opening drive touchdown, opt to go for two, and all of a sudden they're up eight zip. Yeah, this wasn't a decision that they made right here and right now. They made this decision during the week. Hey, if we get the ball and score right away, let's show them that we feel like we're superior. Go for two and really put the pressure on them. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. So the Charger offense making its way out. And at the controls is the league's second leading passer a year ago. At 25 years of age, out of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. And there was a positive in last week's loss. No interceptions thrown by him. But he only threw one touchdown pass. And you know he wants that to improve. We might even consider that as part of the reason that they couldn't take the win last time out. I believe we'll see a more aggressive version of him this week whenever they're nearing the end zone. Here's a second and eight. Here's Herbert. That's taken in by Palmer. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Justin Herbert looking to pass for Keenan Allen. That's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Second down and three. And Johnston sent in motion. Now they'll fake the jet sweep and give it instead to Eckler. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. From the gun, Herbert on third down. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. One quarter down, eight nothing the score. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two. As they get set to start their drive with a first and ten. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing, the answer can be yes. Because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But when the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it, and let's go with it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. Now it's Jackson. 
completes it to Aguilar. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Jackson will throw again. Flush to his right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. Jackson on first down. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So the completion good for six yards. And that will bring up second down. To throw is Jackson. Looking for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offense, number one in the NFL in picking up first downs in their run game, got him another one there. A really good stat to lead the league in, isn't it? Because if you keep picking up first downs, sustaining drives, that means you're controlling the football, controlling the clock, and letting your defense rest on the sidelines. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. On the counter, it's Edwards. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already 2-2 two two on third down conversions on this drive. A swing pass here to Edwards. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. Oh, he didn't spike it. He faked it. And that'll be caught. And now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. More from L.A. in a moment. Second down, Jackson. This for Beckham, and he's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Ravens. A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Ravens go up by two touchdowns. John Harbaugh thought about it, and now his guys are going to go for the two-point conversion. And they'll try a little razzle-dazzle. And he is in to make it 16 to nothing. And it appears we have a charger shaken up on that last play. More from L.A. in a moment. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And running with power here. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They're down a couple of scores, 16-0, as they start things out with a first and 10. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. That's caught by the rookie, Quentin Johnston. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Now a second and ten. Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he goes out right around the 39. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. 
A shotgun snap for Herbert. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Chargers first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw there complete to Allen. A big play there for L.A. 49 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Oh, they were so close. That close to their first points in the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. Are the Ravens going to get one more drive here in this first half. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Jackson. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens out in front as we'll send you eastward to Orlando standing by with halftime over. No problem with us. We skip right to the third quarter and continue this midseason contest. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Chargers going to get the football first here in the second half, and they trail as we get back underway. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Back to throw here, Herbert. Looking Austin Eckler's way again. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. And the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. 
We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 27. And this is into the hands of Andrews downfield. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out. It looks like Jackson who's shaken up. More from L.A. in a moment. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Go. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Tackled by Jordan Willis. Here's second and 10. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Oh, a design run for their wideout. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. Well, Barton, if we had their entire playbook in front of us, I'm not sure we would have picked out that play as the one to run in that situation. How about the guts of the offensive coordinator? Oh, Dialing right. that one up into great success. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now it's Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Throwing is Jackson. And he'll go right back to Andrews. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 16. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it upfield, and that brings up second down. Really good coverage all over the field that took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. And a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long, and this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. Well, now they'll try the end around. Run for the contact. They'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Nelson Aguilar with touchdown number 15 of the year and second of the game. And the Ravens are able to add on to that lead. So this, not a stat line that you'd expect to see. Two touchdowns for him now in the ball game, both coming on the ground. And while it may be unusual, it's obvious they found something that they like on offense and they can use against the defense. And I think they'll continue to go to it until they stop them. I don't think anyone in the building fooled right there as that one is going to blow up in their faces. The third time wasn't a charm. They got the first two two-point tries, still have the lead, but couldn't get the third. Okay, so they didn't get this one, but I have to ask you, what matchup are they seeing that they feel that confident to go for two so often? Yeah, and we talk about this a lot, but it has to be something you're right that they saw all week, correct? Definitely game plan for, felt good about being aggressive and going for it, and right up until that one, they had gotten two for two. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and ten at their own 20-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. Go. 
Herbert now. A little short pass. This is Everett. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, people have to come up with schemes to limit him, and, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. They'll try the right side with Eckler. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Brought down on the play by Trenton Simpson. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and ten. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time has run out on this third quarter of play. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's Charger football, but they trail here as we get going in quarter number four. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Quentin Johnston. 44 yards and the Chargers are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter and they'll have Herbert try and throw for it and he's got it for the two-point conversion so they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further and of course on the two-point try had the option to run or pass they pass it there and it works felt pretty straightforward didn't it an open receiver balls put on him two points for them and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Ravens offense now, they get set to head back on the field. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Jackson now on second and ten. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of momentum. The other side is starting to gain. They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's Jackson to throw. That's into the hands of Edwards. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. That is now 19-yard gains on back-to-back -back plays. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. On second down, here's Jackson. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Jackson from the shotgun. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson punching it in from a yard away. And the Ravens add on to their lead. And it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Now this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one, and in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate, 
You should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep him back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Herbert going to change the play here. To throw again on second down. Herbert, and that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Herbert back to the air. He gets it to Johnston. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. On first down, Justin Herbert. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. The Chargers on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and 16. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Now well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. And he is going to be stopped up at the line of scrimmage. And we'll have a stoppage as well as we have reached the two-minute warning. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. He needed nine, he got eight. And that's going to leave him with a fourth and one on their side of the field. They'll run for it. It's Edwards. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. At first glance, I actually wasn't sure that he got it, but he ended up getting it by about a full yard. He certainly did, but it took a little effort, didn't it? Took some nice push, a little crease inside, and some determined running to make sure that he got the first down. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. And now we're going to get a stoppage as, yeah, that looks like Jackson who's shaken up. More from L.A. in a moment. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. 
Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. They go play action with Huntley. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Play action's supposed to be used to slow down pressure, slow down blitzes. In this case, though, if it takes a little too long to develop, you got people right in your face. And lucky just to get rid of the ball with the arm going forward. Could have been a fumble. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. More from L.A. in a moment. Huntley off of play action. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. From the gun, Jackson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Andrews. Five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. Off the play fake to Dobbins. Here's Jackson. Got a man. It's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Nelson Aguilar. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens are going to be moving on to 12-0 as they extend their lead further. Another touchdown here in the fourth quarter, and Charles, I think we can start to consider that this undefeated streak of theirs is going to be safe for another week. And partner, you don't make it this far into a season without a loss unless you're getting contributions from both sides of the ball and sometimes even your special teams, and that's been true today. Each side helping guide them to this late lead. And they are just not going to let up as he is into the end zone here for two more. <laughs> I think this is just going to be a function of the times we live in now. Very similar to the bat flip in baseball. Everyone's got to start to get comfortable with this. But to me, this is just rubbing it in. You got a big lead. Go ahead and take the extra point. One thing to keep in mind, though, karma's still out there and sometimes has a way of catching up with you. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Facing a big fourth quarter deficit here, things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so far this season, but in this one, where well, their defense has really struggled. On first and 10, Herbert. Throw out wide is incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety. He's got a man complete. A big play there for L.A. 43 yards. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this.